Hey guys, jumping right into this tutorial, we're going to take the shade Best I Ever Had on a B Bella brush, or Beauty Creations brush, sorry. And I have to sneeze, obviously. So today's tutorial, you guys, is giving me much so gender reveal vibes, but I was going to post me filming a haul, and I never filmed that haul, y'all, because I was sick that day I filmed this video. I'm still sick. I actually filmed this yesterday, <laughs> and I'm still sick, and I do apologize, you know. But we're using the Give Me Glow 2 Moods palette. I bought this with intentions of buying it because of Candice Victoria. Because Candice Victoria is a heavy influence on me. You know, I buy a couple of palettes that she recommends every every so often. But yeah, we're taking that shade best I ever had. We're just kind of bu building it up in our crease. Because I want it to be super pink. I want it to be a transition shade, but I also want it to be noticeable. So, you know. It was, it, it served its purpose. So I'm gonna take the shade Feed Me and Tell Me I'm Pretty, which is the shade next to it on a different fluffier blending brush. And we're gonna pop that in our crease as well. Slightly build, building it up. We don't have to build it up as much as we did the, the best I've ever had shade, but it just adds more depth and more pinkness to it. To Sorry, I heard a noise. My cast on the bed. I don't know what the hell that noise was. But yeah, we're going to use that as our transition shade. I hope you guys enjoy these, like, small tutorials I do here and there. I want to do, like, a complete talk-through video, but the one complete talk-through video I did, it was, like, 33 minutes long. I'm like, I don't think y'all want to see an unedited version of that, so I'm just going to edit it down like this and call it good. So, anyway, you're probably going to notice that I didn't take it up a lot higher because I just normally don't take my eyeshadow up that high even though i do have like all the extra room i guess i just never take up my eyeshadow that high i'm gonna cover up with white eyeshadow later but i'm going back in the shade best i ever had to blend out feed me and tell me i'm pretty i don't understand why the names of these goddamn eyeshadows are so damn long but you know it is what it is so going into the shade i need retail therapy we're gonna also blend that on the outer part of our eye Taking it into our crease just to connect, make sure all the things are connected and blended perfectly and seamlessly. No other real rhyme or reason. We just kind of stick with the pink vibe because that's the, the section we're using. You know, I was really tempted to go in with a dark purple though on the outer part of the eye. I thought it would make it kick so hard, but I was like, no, nah, we're just gonna leave it pink. We're just gonna leave it pink. Yeah, I ain't been sick in so long. I'm so annoyed with myself. Like, I don't know if y'all hear that, if I get a shirt, because if I turn it off, give me about 30 minutes, my brother's going to turn it right back on, because he's going to say I'm hot. I'm like, well, I'm a summer baby, so the heat really don't bother me. I mean, it does, as long as I'm not moving around, it doesn't bother me. I can sit in the heat all fucking day. As long as I'm moving around, no, I can't do it. But, ooh, yeah, the temperature in my house is two different temperatures than I was outside with no jacket on in the rainy season. So, it's okay. You know, it's, I brought it on my damn self. So, anyway, for our little shades, we're going to take this shade, Glit I, I Glittery Can't, okay? I Glittery Can't. I cannot stand that name, but I Glittery Can't is the name of that shade. It's a lot darker on my eye than it looks in a pan, and I was kind of like, ugh. But I didn't really expect that shade to be that dark. I was really kind of hoping for a lighter pink, and I was like, well, if I'm sticking with the claws, that's the shade I got to use, because... I would have really loved to grab pink champagne, dye it, and put that on the lid because I think that would be a really pretty look, but that's just my thoughts. So for the interior dub, we're going to take the Frosted Flakes highlighter. That's the only thing I picked up from that collection because I'm like, I don't really care for Frosted Flakes. Nor do I really care for Glam Light's formula. It's not my favorite, so I don't really chop Glam Light like that, but we're going to pop that in our interior dub. It's definitely giving that glow, you know, it's just not a good glow on my face. It looks like glitter blue cocky and Tinky Butters took a giant shit on my face. So it's not happening on my face. But as an eyeshadow, yes, I love it. Excuse me. Bless me. You know, gotta sneeze because, you know, like I said, I was sick. It's annoying. So my my sicknesses always start with allergies and then it turns into a cold. It usually lasts for like a day or two. We pray to God. I don't get sent home early tomorrow because I'm not calling in from work. I'm just going to, like, take a bunch of day quill and call it good. So we're taking the LA Girl Pro, not LA Girl Pro Concealer, LA Girl Shockwave Eyeliner in black. My eyes twitch because I haven't worn eyeliner in so long, y'all. Like, I really don't wear makeup ever. 
besides when I do tutorials or just play and makeup, and I don't even film all the looks that I do. So we're taking the AOA Studio Tallish Mascara, and we're going to pop that on our lashes. I love this wand, you guys. It's a brush wand. Like you literally brush it to your your, eye, your your eyelashes. Now, the only thing about it is it takes fucking forever. I feel like to dry, but once it dry down, it doesn't move. It does transfer pretty fast, so you gonna. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it did transfer to my lid, and I was like not really worried about it, cause it is what it is. What it is. It's also on the bottom part of my lash line, which gets worse because I just like keep blinking. So we're taking the NYX Shine Loud lipstick in the shade In Charge. I have a love hate relationship with these. But, yeah, she's a really pretty color. I love the f formula, the way they look. This one, I had to go over two layers because it did go a little bit patchy. But the reason I don't like them as much is because of the process of removing them is a pain in the ass. Like, I should not have to struggle taking my lipstick off. But, yeah, I'm actually end up going over it and cleaning it up in the end just because I messed up my lips. I never really put my lips on right. I was messing up, but it's okay. And the brush is a little wonky. So it didn't want to go back in. So we're going to go in and clean it up a little bit on the outer parts. And then we're going to go in with a clear gloss to seal the, the lipstick shade in. I do suggest waiting for it to dry first because I don't think I waited for it to dry. I kind of like cleaned it up. It was like semi-dry when I put the gloss on, but it wasn't like completely dry. So. Yeah, you still see it's kind of shiny. But. We're going to go in with the gloss. I prefer it matte. I definitely think it looks okay with the gloss, but I just prefer the matte version of this. But, you know, since it's there, I was going to use it. And I don't know if it would be non-transfer proof if I didn't put it on there. I don't know. I haven't tried it without the gloss. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I'm picking off stuff off my lips and hair and shit out of my nose because I had a hair on my nose. It was... Painful. <laughs> but we're going to clean up the under eyes a little bit more and all that good stuff. I really wish I would have did this in a full face, but that's the end of this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Bye.